Relationships are designed to bring us joy, happiness, and to give us a sense of belonging and a sense of being loved and a sense of loving other people. Relationship is a give and take, you know, matter. Relationship is so important. And that is why today again, I am talking to you about relationship. Good morning. My name is Joseph Adenunga. I'm the pastor of Prevailing Church of Christ, Bethlehem, South Africa. And I pray for you today that the glory of God will overshadow you. God will show you the way. You will not miss it. May the Spirit of God begin to speak to your heart. May you know from this day what God is saying. But time, in the name of Jesus, it is done. Amen. This is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, the extremely good news of God, God's love letter to mankind. Hallelujah. And today I want to continue from where I stopped yesterday. Yesterday I'm talking about the need for you to be patient in relationships, especially in the relationship of the man and the wife. You see, the patience is needed even at work. Patience is needed even with your friends, with your family, brothers and sisters. Patience is needed. But today I want to talk about three important ingredients in a successful relationship. The first one is talking softly and nicely, you know, to people in your relationship. You need to learn to speak in a soft manner, you know, with respect. You need to speak in a manner that shows that you regard the person you are talking to. Don't talk people down. Maybe because you are the boss, don't talk people who are under you, don't talk them down. People are human beings. You see, as you will not like it for somebody to talk to you rough, don't talk roughly to people. You see, you see it, it helps in the relationship when you are soft-spoken, when you are speaking to people with consideration, you know, when you are not speaking with harsh tone. You see, the tone of your voice matters in relationship. You see, you can say, sorry, and you can say, sorry. You see, the way you speak it is going to send a message. The tone of your voice is a message. So bring down the tone. Let the tone be the tone of love. Let the tone be the tone of consideration. That is the first ingredient in relationship. The second ingredient is appreciation. Appreciate good things. When something is done for you, say thank you. Say, I really appreciate this that you have done. You see, when somebody in your relationship gives you something and you don't appreciate, you are sending a wrong signal. You see, not only do you appreciate the good things that is done for you, you need to appreciate it when somebody is doing good. Maybe somebody dressed well. Oh, I love your dressing. Your dressing is so fine. You see, appreciate the good things they are doing. Maybe they got a new job. Oh, thank God for your job. Rejoice with them. And you see, when they are doing, when something bad is happening, be remorse. You see, empathize. It's very important. You understand? So, I'd I like you to know that in a relationship, don't talk with half stone. I want to go back there. For instance, if somebody, maybe your partner is dressing and is going out and you don't like the way he dressed. Don't say, hey, look, man, look at the way you dress. Ah, you see, you are disgracing me. No, don't talk like that. You can call and say, darling, ah, this dressing that you have put on is so beautiful. I love it. But why don't you do this? Why don't you change this? This is going to make it look perfect. See, the way I'm looking at you, you are so dazzling. But just put this. It's going to add more to it. That person will change and will be happy to correct himself. Not when you just shout at the person. Don't shout at people. Appreciate people. You see, then the third ingredient in relationship is giving. Learn to give. You see, there is nothing too small that you can give. You can give common, even if you just sweet of one round, can do a magic. Always make sure you give. This is going to help your relationship. This is where I'm going to stop today. Thank you for listening. I believe this helped you. If this help you, pass it on to your friends and loved ones. Let them get blessed also. And if this is passed on to you and you love me to be sending it to you directly from my studios, then you will need to save my number with Prevailing Life. This is my number. Save it with Prevailing Life. My number is plus two seven seven four 
0302-0302-381. Save that number right now. WhatsApp, go to your WhatsApp. WhatsApp me. Say, register me or subscribe me. I will do that and begin to send it to you every day. Thank you so much. If you want to be a partner with us, you want to, you know, be a partner with us in sending this word, this word of God that you are hearing is sent to so many people around the world. People are listening to this, the sound of my voice almost in every continent of the world. Hallelujah. So, so if you want to be a partner with that, so just, you know, contact me through that number that I called shortly, short, you know, a short while ago. And you can remit whatever. And if you can also send, um, you know, recharge card of MTN. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you for listening. It is well with your soul. May you go from strength to strength in Zion. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Once again, this is Joseph Adenuga signing out this morning and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.